Saggy, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to the oracle card spread. The link below in the description box is the extended full blown out tarot card spread as well as the romance reading. So if your curiosity peaks, please do drop on by there. Let's get right into the oracle card reading. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, and actually Sagittarius, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, whatever Sagittarius energy, okay, influences your chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so from whenever you see this video. So Sagittarius, 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 Sagittarius. Your crowning energy has already come out and there is a sense of maturing. There's a sense of being ready. There's a sense of preparedness. There's a sense of letting go, of needing to let go, of simplifying your life and clearing something out, releasing something. This is the energy of clear out the clutter frog spirit. It's Cancerian energy. It's a matured Cancerian energy because it's a, it's a, it's the energy that, that says, hey, I can go between both worlds. You know, I can, I can go under the water, but I don't have to be sort of um, manipulated by the tides like a tadpole anymore. I can jump and I can leap and I can do go where I please. I can go in the water, be out of the water. I have more control over what I do, more dexterity, maybe even more curiosity of broadening and expanding who you are. This has been... There's, some, there's definitely something in the cosmos that's coming because this has been sort of the prevalent effect that the energies are having on all of this, uh, these zodiac signs of just being ready, being prepared to take a jump and take a leap. There is this feeling of you needing to let go of something before you take that leap. Um, and, and this moment in time, being you being ready to do that now. Uh, two plus eight is 10. So this is completion. A cycle in your life has completed and finished out. Something is coming to an end because not be, it's not coming to an end. It's coming to an end because there's a new beginning that is really evident up, up ahead of you. Like it's, it's, you have to let go of something because you see the direction coming. So this is actually a closing out that precedes good news, or it's, it's got the good news in sight. It's got this new opportunity in sight. There's something coming in for you. And so now it's time to just release and let go of all that baggage that you can't carry. This can actually speak to emotional baggage, but it can also speak to actual, like really cleaning out your house, like, like getting rid of old stuff and just making room for new things to come in. This could be clearing out the cobwebs of a relationship. This could be getting rid of an old relationship because there's pros there's newer prospects on the horizon, but this could also just be like letting go of all the things that you've been holding on to emotionally. Since this is a water card, it's a water energy, but it's, I love it. It's a tidal energy. So it's going between being able to understand the land and the sea, the, the, the place between the, pl the, the place between two elements is being able to sort of see, um, live in and be comfortable with two different dynamics. That's the broadening expansion that happens during Aquarius season. And the effect it's having on you is you being able to discern very well this coming week. Um, what you need to let go of, what is holding you back or dragging you down. Ooh, okay, so that's crowning your reading. There is a wonderful sense of being ready or or almost like it's like you know that something new is coming you may not even see it yet but you know the newness is here you know that you know it's about to happen you can feel it there's a certainty on the horizon fire signs are always really well connected with the future um maybe because they like they make a decision and they make the future they decide it right they forge it there's always this progressive energy about you guys, about fire signs in general. So there's a certainty about yourself and your place in your own making this week. Okay. 
don't want to come out. Okay. Something just landed a pile, just landed on my lap too. Pretty big reading. So let's start with the okay. upside down and reversed. We have the in-between. So remember how I talked about the title, like being in, it's not in between, it's being able to navigate both land and sea. So you're not stuck anymore in this murky place. You're not stuck anywhere. This is Libra energy. This is maybe things being thrown out of balance or things being off balance, that feeling of not being able to choose. This could also be having to choose between two different extremes or having two different choices or, or feeling like you're put in a situation where you have to choose between two different different things and really that stress needing to be alleviated like letting go and see it as an opportunity instead of a burden let spirit guide you this is that um objective perspective of um Jesus, let Jesus take the wheel, man. Like that, that's, that's the energy of you don't have to decide. Don't make the decision. If you feel stuck between a rock and a hard place or a rock and the tides, if you're stuck between two different areas of your life and, and you don't really know which direction to choose, don't choose. This is, this is saying let spirit choose for you and spirit will guide you. You will get that sort of input and insight it is happy to sort of take over and just allow you and just drive you along. Um, that's sort of like, yeah, hold on. I just got to let it shine. Speak out something coming back from the past, some an opportunity coming back from the past, or this sort of energy of something that's been sort of in the works for a long time, something finally coming out, a truth coming out, figuring out or finding out something or illuminating something, choosing something, spotlighting something, making a decision also the energy of 10 and this is the energy of five so change i just gotta i just want to i for some reason i'm being called to just see all the cards in your reading i just want to see where all these cards are taking us tend to the small things so this is something that's been building for a while Something that maybe you let get out of control, try to like stuff it in the way, you know, like put push it under the carpet or something like that. And this is like where you see one mouse, there's 400 in the walls. This is those little needling things that sort of add up over time and need to be addressed. But I think this is just starting out. And I think the devil is in the details for you this week. Slow and steady wins the race. This is more Cancerian energy very matured cancerian energy using your shell not as a not as a way to block okay not as a way to block things out but as a way to just be yourself it, realizing that it you take your home wherever you go you don't have to ever miss it or feel lost that you can carry it wherever you go going with the flow uh, being at one with your emotions sea turtle is not like all turtles. Sea turtle doesn't slip back into its shell. You know what I'm saying? It has a shell for protective purposes, but it floats and it sort of kind of like wades in the shallows. It's a very playful creature. It's very happy with itself. And it, and it, it commits itself long term and lasts a long time. This is something that has a lot of long term whether it's been going long term or it's going to go long term hold on use your mind wisely discerning discernment when pigs fly no but this is more about discernment this week for you this is about this is this is about picking out those opportunities is about recognizing and seeing that there's an opportunity that now isn't doesn't look like much but i think that you're seeing it you're spotlighting it you're spotlighting a trouble you're spotlighting a problem you're spotlighting maybe an infestation or an infection and now you know what to clear out to sort of make way for an opportunity that may have been hard to figure out or or see an opportunity that would that that really just started to develop but i think that you see the longevity in it and the wisdom in committing yourself long term to it. Be generous of spirit, feeling good about yourself and looking to the future. This is Leo energy. Um, knowing that you have a future, confidence, success, victory. Um, I feel like you know that you're on to something, Sagittarius. You really have a lot of faith 
in this opportunity or it's like you really, it's almost like you, do you have an investment opportunity of some sort? Like there's something that you know that you realize you have a lot of confidence in. Um, bring your ideas to life. I think you're still ruminate, rumin, ruminating over it. I think you're still thinking about things, but it's all in the plans. This is in the works. I don't think you've put full grind to the stone yet. I don't, I think that something is just starting. It's almost gelling in your brain before you actually bring it to life. Set healthy boundaries. Don't let yourself get overburdened and don't set those walls too high. This is also cancer. There's a lot of cancerian energy. What's going on with cancer? Sagittarius, um, um, kind of being swarmed by cancer right now. I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer or, um, it's almost like you can feel something looming in, in like something looming in the works. It's almost like you can feel that something is coming. Interesting. Now is a lucky time. This is a time to double down on your abundance. A uh, time when things start to multiply and divide really rapidly. Hold on. It could very well be Sagittarius pregnancy or reproduction because this is, it's something is starting to happen fast. Something was floating beneath the surface. Maybe something is growing. This is, this is also my DNA card. When the double helix, you see when two things combine, um, this could be ideas combining or a relationship starting to happen or actual DNA combining, but there's this, something is taking off. Like, like it's happening quickly. Something that maybe was on hold for a second. This is Gemini energy. Like I said, um, communication coming through, getting word or being able to make an announcement somehow. Um, maybe you're making a wedding announcement or you're making a birth announcement. You're announcing that you are pregnant. Um, that, yeah, hold on. Something is growing. I gotta say, something is growing. There's something that's growing. You're aware of it. You know it. And you may just be revealing it this week. Be here now. This is Libra energy, beauty, love. Something is growing. It could be a new relationship that's growing on the horizon. Something, a potential that you felt that's just being clear or coming through or being confirmed now. Um, this is just sucking on the honey of life. So something is very sweet in your life right now. I feel like you've got a sweet opportunity ahead of you. Something new that wants to come through. Take the lead. This is when you're tapped to literally tapped by spirit to say, no, you've got to do this. This is you, your connectivity. Like in other words, your intuition is on point this coming week. Like trust the messages from the divine that you're getting and just let it lead you, let it guide you. You're the one that's your, it's like you, you've been selected. You Sagittarius, you're the one that's being chosen. So it's like, this is like, it's almost like a contract between you and the divine that sort of saying, well, now it's time. Now it's time. This is, this is the moment or let's put this into play or let's get it started. The beginning of something, hopefully something very beautiful. Uh, magic works through you. More Cancerian energy. What is going on with you and Cancerians? I think this is, could just be something that you've been nurturing also. Um, something that was on the back burner or hadn't been completely gelled yet. Like I said, it was a concept in the back of your mind now coming to the forefront of your mind. You are creating it. Magic works through you. You're the conduit for the magic this week. That's you, Sagittarius. No pressure. But you're a conduit for a broader, bigger idea coming through or something new coming through. This is once again, life, life, re de death, rebirth, that regenerative, that regenerative, regenerative, <sighs> regeneration cycle of, um, when this card shows up, it doesn't show up in the presence of nothing. There's, there's a significance to its presence. There's, there's almost like. Like it's not, it's not just spirit's blessing. It's spirit's choice. It's spirit pointing out that this is a special time for you. I, I do feel like this is, if you've get, gotten an opportunity recently or uh, I want to put all the cards on the table. I'm going to trust that. Act as if. This is the fake it till you make it card. Something hiding out, something that something in disguise that you didn't see. 
So this isn't necessarily a bad thing. This is, I think, something is being revealed right now to you. Um, or you're revealing yourself. You're finally coming out of some sort of phase in your life. You're shedding some skin. You're shedding old skin. Or oh, act as if. You know what, Sagittarius? I feel like you're acting like you have it all together when you don't. It's almost like you know, you know that this is in the beginning stages, but you're selling it as if it's much more advanced. But you're okay with that because that's how you roll. You love the chaos. You love the challenge. And you love um, the improvisation. So this is almost like, yeah. It, but the thing is this. It's not deceptive in that you really do believe in this. And you don't want... Remember how I said the devil is in the details with you? That's like the little underlying warning of your confidence is going to get you far. And you're going to be able to convince people of what you want. But then eventually you're going to have to do the work underneath. So even though you're faking it till you're making it and you're selling the idea and you're pushing things forward, eventually there's a big responsibility behind this. And just make sure that you're prepared for it. This is a long-term commitment. Just know that. This is also government government or judging, a, a judgment being laid in your favor. So this could have been building for a long time. It could have to do something with parenting because Cancerian energy keeps coming through. So either there's a baby on its way or you've been having maybe custody battles or something coming through when it comes to children that's actually been building for a long time. It's lasted a long time. A judgment finally coming through, coming down in your favor or you committing long term, a long term commitment because this is Capricornian energy. Um, For those of you who it's got nothing to do with children, this is about nurturing a new idea that's going to bring a lot of wonderful abundance and capital gains, right? It's it's just going, but it's long-term. It's going to provide you with long-term income. So this is a really good idea. Um, oh my God, I just heard ringing in my ear. That's interesting. Um, but I think more than that, Sagittarius, I feel like there's almost two different groups of Sagittarius is happening here. And you know what I love about this reading is that it, it isn't, it isn't that definite. So there is still a lot of improv and a lot of things that you're, you're going to be welding along the way. This is just a general energy of where your mind is at right now. Nothing is wasted. Oh no, no. And sing your own song. Um, you're not wasting this opportunity at all. It's almost like you see the treasure in the trash heap. This is your grounding energy. You see the treasure in the trash heap and you're standing on top of it to announce yourself to the world. This is more Gemini energy, more communication, but it's you doing the communicating. You recognize a huge opportunity that other people have looked over. And I got that energy early on in the reading. <laughs> Other people have looked over this energy. They haven't seen its potential, but you have. Invest in that stock, Sagittarius. Like buy that business. Go and take this leap because you what you're seeing is actually really intuitive. It's almost like, yeah, the when pigs fly, this is actually, but it's going to happen. This is the impossible coming true. So yeah, you, you are going to, there's going to be a window opening up for you. I got this in the daily energy reading today too. There's a window of opportunity opening up for you this week, Sagittarius, jump through it because it's almost like you, you've been keeping your eye on something for a while, right? You've been, you've been, you've been thinking about it, contemplating it, considering it. Uh, and you, the more and more, it, as it grows, as it goes, the more and more you look at it, you literally are seeing more and more potential in it. And it doesn't matter that nobody else has, nobody else has caught this. Nobody else has caught on to the potential here. And you're not a hundred percent prepared. I think there's still a lot of, um, why, why is it like? It could be like helping people. No, I don't want to. I'll go into that in tarot, but this is definitely 
you standing on, you're, you're making an announcement. Either some of you are making an announcement or you're getting word, you're telling somebody that a new life is coming through or you're taking a chance and a new opportunity. You're, and you're, you're going into this headlong. It's not even like you have a lot of prep. It's not even like, you're not even fully and completely prepared, but you don't care. You like the circumstance of the situation even more than you like the situation itself because you like when shit gets flung at you and thrown at you and you like the chaos and you like to be able to duck and weave. It's, it's like what charges you the most. It's a great like sink my teeth into it kind of playful energy, but it's an energy that's going to build and really take off for you. I'm going to get further into the details in the extended reading. Please do click over and join me there. Sag, I will see you in the extended.